Hi Danny, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Great to see you today. Just a quick recap on our lesson. So swing here on the left is one of your first shots of the day. First thing we're going to see here, it's an incredibly short swing. Uh, and then very, the very next very move, unfortunately, the shaft angle steepens. So the shaft works this way where the arrow is. And you can see as you start down, that shaft starts to get steeper. Uh, we can see it's cutting through your left forearm. And in time you come to hit the ball... I mean, look where that club head is, it's miles to the right of the ball. So you can only swing left and across it uh, this way, as we can see that now through the circle, with big divots, which is why we're not hitting it very far at all. So my first thing for you was really, I think, if we could get you a longer swing, and this swing here on the right is it, and we put a ball between your forearms. So you can put a tennis ball right at the bottom of your forearms there for me, just to keep them elbows squeezed together. And now look at the length of swing. It's a great complete backswing now. Hands are in a terrific spot. If we compare that to your swing there on the left, hugely different, isn't it? Much different position there. Swing on the right is nice and complete. And the next feeling is we wanted to shallow that shaft. So look at the difference here of the lines as you start down on the left. That shaft's got steeper. Okay, now look at the swing on the right. The shaft will get shallower. So as you start down, that shaft now changes direction. And look at it now, look, it's much more on the inside, it's cutting through that right forearm and it's at a 45 degree angle, so it's absolutely perfect there. So we can do it, massive change visually, which needs a bit of work, Danny. So at home do this thing here against the garden fence or a tree or something, try and make some back swings, swing it to the top, nice and complete weight for it, you know, it's much slower, silkier rhythm and in from there, just feel like the club head moves this way on the way down for me and we're going to start to see some awesome results. Uh, much higher ball flight, longer carries and things like that. But it's such a different swing. I just need you to put a bit of effort in your end for me. I know you will, but mainly do it at home. I don't want to see you hitting too many balls. But don't forget to put a ball between the forearms. That makes a big difference, squeezing them elbows together. Nice long swing and then just wait for the club to fall behind you and turn onto it. Thanks a lot, Danny. See you soon.